بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so the next thing we'll we'll try to see one more example with B class. This time I'm taking higher requirements, higher ranges. So let's assume that we we want to divide one B class example, uh, maybe maybe a B class, and and I got these requirements like I want to divide into multiple small subnets where each and every subnet will be nearest to this possible size, near near to the sizes. 2000 1500 200 125 60 and and 50 so the first thing we we will go with the requirement so if you if you just try to calculate this in a in a simple way here like now the 2000 the nearest possible size is how much so 2048 right as per the 12 table you can see two table uh, to the power of 11 will be the possible size to the power of 11 and which means 32 minus 11 32 minus 11 means 32 is total bits. Minus 11 is going to be how much? So it's going to be slash 23, right? So slash 23 or slash 21. So slash 21. So that is your subnet mask. And similar way, if you write the 1000, 1000 requirement here. So basically, for 1000 to the power of 10, that's going to be 1024, which means Uh, from 32, we have to subtract 10, so the subnet mask will be slash 22. So similar way, you can just go ahead uh, and do like this roughly. Uh, 500 means the possible size is going to be 2 power 9, 512, which means 32 minus 9 is going to be slash 23 will be the subnet mask. And likewise for 200 to the power of 8, 256 is the possible size, which means from 32, if I subtract 8, it's going to be slash 24. So likewise, if you if you take this example here, one twenty five, so two to the power of seven is going to be one twenty eight, which means from thirty two, if I subtract seven, it's going to be slash twenty five. So likewise, if I take these two requirements here, fifty uh, and sixty, because they are both will fall in the same uh, possible size. So I'm going to take two to the power of six, sixty four will be my possible size. So thirty two minus six uh, is going to be slash twenty six. So basically, you can calculate all at once like this. So the same thing here. What generally I I write here the same thing. Um, this is like step by step. The host bits. What do we get? Like I said, the first requirement, the possible size is two zero four eight, and from thirty two, if I subtract eleven, it's going to be slash twenty one. So this is the equivalent subnet mask again. So when you're writing the range, now the range is written based on uh to do based on the size of the network. Like in this example, so in my example two zero four eight. If you remember, we did some based on the blocks because each block will have two fifty six addresses. So basically, to for uh, for two thousand forty eight addresses, I get eight blocks of addresses. So if you remember the FLSM examples, we did fit some these requirements. So which means the first subnet will start from zero dot zero. So it's a block, eight blocks. So it's going to be zero plus eight dot zero, the next range. So which means the address starting from zero dot zero to seven dot two fifty five will be a group of two thousand forty eight addresses, and the subnet mask will be slash twenty one. So the so the way you calculate this is going to be the same thing, no difference here, uh, because at the end we are doing the same thing. So it, it's just the same repetition of the FLSM examples what we did. Now, similar way, if you take the next requirement, so next requirement is one thousand. So the possible size is one thousand twenty-four, and based on that, we can write the range. And the host bits are ten. So from total, if I subtract ten, so I get the slash twenty-two. That is your total network bit, uh, total network bits. So based on that, the subnet mask is going to be uh, slash twenty-two means eight eight and six dot zero. Right, this is eight dot eight dot five dot zero here, and this is six dot zero. So the subnet mask will be two five five two five five two five two dot zero. So you can refer that subnet mask table uh, in general. Now based on this, the range. So the range is group of one thousand twenty four. So so one thousand twenty four here. So one thousand twenty four here, and based on this range, one thousand twenty four. So we get how many blocks? So divided by two fifty six, we get four blocks of addresses, which means eight dot x, nine dot x, 
uh, 10.x and 11.x which means the address will start on 8.0 and ends on 11.255 so the next range will start from uh, 12. Dot, uh, option here so the next thing next requirement the next requirement is 500 so based on the 500 the possible size is to the power of 9 512 is a possible size and we get host bits 9 so from 32 if i subtract 9 then the total network bits will be slash 23 and based on slash 23 we can write like this so 88 uh, 7.0 right so 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 7 is 23 so the equivalent subnet mask is this now when you're writing the range again we get two blocks right two blocks of addresses which means to write this address range so the next range will be starting from 12 because this ends on 11 so 12 dot block and 13 dot block which means this address should start on 12 dot 0 and end on 13 dot uh, 255 so 12 and 13 blocks now similar way the next requirement next requirement is 200 200 means the nearest possible size is 256 of course it's it's like equivalent to c class network uh, if you go with the default so the host bits will be 8 so from 32 if i subtract 8 bits then the network bits will be 24 so which means the tally will be 24 network and 8 host so of course the submit mask will be 255 255 2550 okay so which means there are host bits are 8 and the remaining 24 are network bits and if you take the size so the size is going to be one block right because two three addresses we get only one block which means the next address starts from 14 and ends on 14.255 with a slash 24 subnet mask that is what the same thing you can see here now similar way the next requirement is 125 so 125 means the possible size will be 2 to the power of 7 128 and based on this the host bits we get 7 so if you want to find the network bits we need to subtract from total bits uh, from total bits if you subtract the host bits we get the network bits that is 25 uh, slash 25 so the equivalent subnet mask we can write as 8 8 8 and 1 so 8 is 24 24 plus 1 25 so this is your equivalent subnet mask which means now this range will start from 14.0 and it will end on 14.127 because it is a group of group of 128 addresses so basically the subnet mask is going to be slash 25 so if you try to see the same thing so sorry it's not 14 it's actually 15 because we have, we have used 14 here already so it's going to be 15 dot zero to fifteen dot one twenty seven that will be the subnet mask uh, slash twenty five will be subnet mask and then the next requirement so if you take the next requirement so here if you take the next two requirements sixty and fifty they automatically fall uh, in the same same block because for both the subnets the possible size is the same so the possible size is going to be sixty four now based on this we get the host bits will be six and from total bits if i subtract the host bits so we get the network bits so the network bits we write like this 8882 so 255 255 255 and 192 will be the subnet mask so the range will be 15 dot uh, i think i wrote the range already so 15 dot 128 from here to 15 dot 192 so this is group of 64 addresses for the first one this one and also i got another requirement that is 50 so the next requirement will be again 64 again this will be starting from so this is actually 191 not 182 so i have to correct that so this is the possible size so we are using from 192 to 255 so this is a group of 64 addresses here okay so now here you can see this uh, range here if you just try to observe the range so we're using 0 dot to 7 dot x block which means total eight blocks so the eight blocks of addresses we are using for uh, the requirement of 2048 of course 2048 is my requirement where we get eight blocks and from and the next requirement is 1024 we are using four blocks if we just count here four blocks of addresses and if you see the next one 120 for 512 512 we get two blocks so which means i'm using 12 and 13 block here 
12 and 13. Where, whereas here 9, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? So here you can count 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And similar way, if you take the 256, it is just one block. So we are using only 14 dot subnet. So 14 dot subnet is been used here. And next there is a 15 dot subnet. So now this 15 dot subnet, whatever we have. So this 15 dot uh, subnet is actually one block. 15 dot X is one block, which, I, which contains 256 addresses. So what we are doing here is uh, we are not using 256. And this 256 is further divided into four parts. So something like this. So if this is your 256 size. So one network is divided with a size of 128 and we are allocating here that is from 0 to uh, 127 and then the next 128 the remaining 128 is further divided into two parts 64 64 and we are allocating here and here. Okay, so this is how we do so when you're allocating the addresses. So basically whatever the unused IPs in that block probably you can use them for smaller subnets depending upon the requirement. Okay, so this is uh, another example with a B class with a variable requirements. And this is how we, we generally go and calculate. So these are all different subnets depending upon this subnet mask.